Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Workhorse. Um, don't know how much of an update it's going to be. As you can see, this one is just keeps going down. Um, when I first started talking about this one, I think my cost basis was 19. I bought some more just to lower it, which lowered it nicely. But as you can see, I'm still way in the red. Here's a look at what they've uh, done over the uh, last year. I uh, wish I would have dumped this back in February. Down over, we'll just call it 80% in the last three months. Down over 44% in the last month. Down over 25%. And here in the last week, down over 12%. And here's a look at today. So. Every one of them is in the red. Again, this is Workhorse, ticker WKHS. I have uh, 20 shares here at uh, 1216. Ouch. If you don't know what this one is, it's a uh, EV, battery electric uh, vehicle, including trucks and aircraft. Uh, they had a USPS contract, and that fell through. I think that went to uh, Oshkosh, so uh, that was the uh, major catalyst for this one. Uh, but who knows what's going to happened with this one so we'll just have to uh, wait and see um, 7.1 million being traded and an average of 6.19 so uh, this one's being traded a little bit more heavily uh, 685 million dollar market cap 52 week low of 438 it looks like it hit that today and a 52 week high of 42.96 and currently 67 percent say a hold uh, next earnings is on February 28th. Here you can see I bought some at uh, 480, uh, 554, and you can see how much it's went down since then. Here's what I originally bought, so um, July of 2020 at 1915. Youch. I think I have some more of this one in a retirement account of about a dollar cost basis something like that um, but I don't even look at this one anymore just because it makes me mad because uh, it's down Bing is showing it as a buy with a one-year price target of 892 I'm gonna continue watching this one and if it dips anymore <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna be buying some more of this one just to uh, lower my cost basis and I don't know maybe get it up to 50 shares or something like that so I'm already in the red on this one so what would another hundred bucks or so be just to lower my cost basis I guess it'd be better than nothing and maybe if it goes back up to 10 I'll dump it I don't know so workhorse uh, not that I'm saying it would go back to 10 anytime soon that would be awesome uh, workhorse group uh, can't stop the stock slide and that's no beep yep I beeped myself so <laughs> no cussing here on the channel so a workhorse group a price closed higher on Thursday, December 23rd, jumping 19.7 above the previous close. A look at the daily price movement shows that the uh, last close reads $5.08 with an intraday deals fluctuated between $4.99 and $5.37. The company's five monthly uh, beta was ticking 2.69, taking into account the 52-week price action. We note that the stock hit a 52 week high of 42.96 and a 52 week low of 4.51 stocks subtracted a 14.24 on its value in the past month so actually it's lower than that low showing there that should actually be 4.38 uh, but not to uh, trash the stock too much <laughs> I'll actually I don't know what to think about the stock anymore. I wish I would have sold, and when it uh, started going down, I should have uh, sold, but uh, that's besides the point. I had good hopes about this one. I still do. It's got a lot of, I don't know, potential behind it, I guess, uh, put it that way. Um, I don't know what else to say about this one, but um, Workhorse Group analysts uh, see things differently today. This is dated on the 27th, so two days ago, 1.7 million shares changed hands as the company's beta touched 2.55 with the company's most recent per share price of $5.11 and 
changed hands at uh, minus 7 cents or minus 1.35%. At last look, the market valuation stands at 792.38 million. Workhorse current price is at a discount, trading at about uh, minus 740.7% off of its 52 week high. The uh, share price, 52 week low of 451. And you can continue reading there. Uh, enough about the um, stock price. We've already kind of went over that. Here kind of goes over some trade information. About the only thing that I'm planning to do with this one is just watch it and see if it goes any lower and possibly try to buy some if I see it going back up or trying to figure out where the bottom is on this one. Could the Workhouse Group, Workhorse Group Incorporated ownership structure tell us something useful? And this is dated just yesterday, the 28th. Should be aware of the most powerful shareholder groups. So large companies usually have institutions as shareholders. And as we usually see insiders owning shares in smaller companies, I generally like to see some degree of insider ownership, even if it's only a little. Uh, don't tell me what you think. Tell me what you have in your portfolio. Uh, that's what I say as well. Uh, so it has a market capitalization of $761 million, which means it wouldn't have the attention of many institutional investors. Taking a look at our uh, data on our ownership groups uh, below, it seems that institution owns shares in the company, and we can zoom in on different ownership groups to learn more about the uh, Workhorse Group. What does the institutional ownership uh, tell us about the Workhorse Group? I uh, wish they would uh, buy some more and pump it up a little bit, uh, but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. We would expect more companies to have some institutions on the register, especially if they are growing. Uh, we can see that Workhorse Group uh, does have institutional investors, and they hold a good portion of the company stock. This suggests some credibility amongst professional investors, uh, but we can't rely on the fact alone since institutions make bad investments sometimes, uh, just like everyone does. It's not uncommon to see a big share of the price drop if two large institutional investors try to sell out of the stock at the same time. And that's always a fear with a lot of these that um, institutions do hold. Uh, when they sell out, um, sometimes a lot of other people get out as well. So uh, here is their revenue in blue, earnings in green, which is a yo yo. Free cash flow and cash from operations. So feel free to pause and uh, go over that there for yourself. Uh, Workhorse announces annual stockholder meeting results. And this is also dated on the uh, 28th. The American technology company focused on providing sustainable and cost-effective drone integrated electric vehicles to the last mile delivery sector. Today announced the results of its annual stockholders uh, meeting held earlier today. Company stockholders have re-elected the uh, following persons on the company's board of directors for the ensuing uh, year. Um, the following individuals for the uh, board of stockholders. A webcast playback will be available at the uh, following 24 hours after completion of the meeting. And again, you can find this on APnews.com. Why Workhorse Group is a good choice for investors after new price target of $8.92, uh, which I'd still be in the red. That's why I need to uh, buy some more and lower my cost basis. Um, I think that's about what my cost basis is in my retirement is like 8 something, I believe, and... Then I started watching the hype, got excited, so I bought some more here in um, Robinhood, and you can see the uh, results. So they closed uh, trading at 488 on 1227. The day's price range uh, stock hit a low of 487. 
uh, which it's hitting another low again today. I think it hit the 52-week low, if I remember right. Well, the highest price was uh, 521. The uh, company report on December 20th, shareholder alert. And that's why I'm making a video, because I saw an alert on this one hitting a new bottom. So, um, don't know what to think about this one. So, it's down, as you can see, down, down, down. Compared on average trading of 8.15 shares, Workhorse reached a volume of 5,178,000 in the most recent trading day. Um, I don't know, you could speculate this one all kinds of different ways. Here goes some uh, ratings. Um, I suppose some people are shorting this one now and some people are buying it, trying to lower their cost basis like I am. Um, and some are probably staying away, and some have probably already sold out of it. So, very mixed feelings about this one. Over here on, well, stock twits still isn't working. So, over here on MSN Money, uh, it's showing it as a buy. That's, uh, hmm, well, I suppose at these prices, uh, maybe it is a buy. Over here on uh, tip ranks, currently at 441, uh, showing a moderate buy with a 206% upside to 1350. That's very interesting. Um, the high of 14, middle 1350, and a low of 13. Seems like I did a video on them once in the past. I'd have to look at it, and it was a 50 cent increase or decrease however you look at it between the high average and low that is very interesting how they rate it that way but whatever so it's still showing a low today of 438 and I'll check the 52 week low here in a second once it starts buffering 438 still um, I don't know, I might put in a uh, buy order, try to get five more at the 438, see if it fills or not, um, and uh, go from there. But my fear is it's going to go down some more, so I might wait and put in the order and see what it does here throughout the rest of the day. So, you can see what it's done here this week. I mean, compared to my cosplays, is that would have still been a good place to buy it in, but it's just stair-stepping down, has a little bit of a run-up, falls back. Runs up, falls back, runs up, falls back. <laughs> so who knows where the bottom is going to hit on this one. So uh, if you have workhorse, go ahead and leave that in the comments along with your cost bases. Any other information you want to share about this one, uh, you can say if it's a POS or what your thoughts are on it. Um, this is uh, kind of the uh, POS of the EVs in my mind right now. It's kind of the uh, uh, sundial to... Uh, MJ, if you uh, catch my drift, or Hexo to uh, MJ is kind of what workhorse is to the EV market right now. Uh, that's just my feelings, but I have hopes for this one, so I don't know when it'll be, or maybe it'll be next summer, who knows. But um, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.